So first we have a alternate aluminum silicate glass at the 0.8 millimeter, and this glass has already been stressed with the 7 newton force. So we're going to load it up. When my colleague Kevin releases the ball, let's see what happens. That impact energy has actually broken the glass. Now in the same setup, we're going to load the ball, and now in the picture, Kevin is going to put our Gorilla Glass 3. It's a 0.7 millimeter. Again, has the same scratch at 7 newton that was made on the uh, previous glass. The, uh, the impact energy didn't do any damage to the glass. The glass is still intact. So we're not going to stop there. So we're going to take it a step further. Now we're going to change the incline, increase it to 30 degrees, which actually increases the uh, energy at the impact three times higher. Just to show how much, what the impact energy does, so we have a 0.77 millimeter metal plate that we're going to load in the fixture. We're going to drop this 135 gram steel ball and see what happens to the metal. You can see that impact has actually created a dent in the metal plate. Now at the same incline, we're going to load up the steel ball, but this time we're going to put our Gorilla Glass 3. Again, this glass has a scratch with a 7 newton force. And we want, let's see what happens at this high, higher level of impact energy. Two hits and the glass is still intact. So now that you've witnessed the durability of the next big thing in the cover glass, we're going to show one more test actually. It's a level press, same sample. It's a, it's a sand ring on ring test. So Kevin's going to apply a 100 pound force. And you see the glass is still surviving. 